Hi everyone. In this session, I am going to explain how we can implement Couchbase on a Linux machine. Looking at the agenda, we will see a brief introduction about Couchbase, then prerequisites in terms of system requirement and user requirement, and download the Couchbase RPM package. We will set up a single node Couchbase cluster. Then we will add one more machine to that cluster using Couchbase web user interface. And later on, we will add a third machine to the cluster using Couchbase command line interface. Then we will have a walkthrough of the Couchbase web user interface. And finally, we will see some important administration commands. Let us start with the introduction of Couchbase. What is Couchbase? Couchbase is a document oriented NoSQL database which is open source distributed means we will be having multiple machines where Couchbase services will run and all these machines will form one single cluster. It is fault tolerant means we will not lose our data in any case because it is persistent and replicated. Persistent means it is storing the data in memory as well as in disk and replicated means we are having multiple copies for our data. It is schema free and flexible. We are no more bound to the number of columns and the column data types. We can have a document which can have any number of columns inside that. It provides high performance. Couchbase serves the request from memory itself and that makes it so fast. Easy to scale. We can simply add machine to the cluster or remove machines from the cluster by a single click. That makes it so easy to scale. Let us see what are the components inside Couchbase. On the screen, you can see a cluster will have some defined number of nodes. Each of these nodes will run Couchbase services. Inside each node, we will have V buckets. V buckets are nothing but partitions. We will see some more details about V buckets in a few minutes. These V buckets are assigned to the bucket. You can consider bucket as a database. And the actual document resides in the bucket. The actual document will have the key value pairs of the data. Now, what is vbucket? vbucket are nothing but logical storage units. The overall key space of Pulsebase is divided into 1024 partitions. These partitions or you can say vbuckets are distributed all over the cluster and the details about these V buckets are maintained in a map. That map will be available to all the nodes of the cluster as well as with the client library. This map will tell us that this particular node is responsible for this number of V buckets. The basic unit of data storage in Couchbase is a JSON document. As we know that Couchbase is a document oriented database, all of our data will be in JSON format. And each of the JSON document will be assigned one unique key. That key will be used by the application users to access or to update that particular document. The key is generated using Katma algorithm. 
and it will be a hash value. High availability is achieved through data replication at the V bucket level. For example, if we have a replication factor of 2, we will be having total 2048 V buckets. So, to combine all these terms, you can simply think of that you will be having data in JSON document. Each document will be assigned a unique key. That key will fall into any of the V bucket. V bucket will be part of a particular bucket. A node will contain number of buckets and multiple nodes will combine to form the cluster. Let us see how does a write operation happens in Couchbase. Whenever the client fires the add or set command to write a document to Couchbase, the first thing that happens is to calculate a unique hash value of the key of that particular document. After getting the hash value, the client will come to know that this hash value falls in that V bucket and that V bucket is present on that particular node. So that document will directly go to that node only. It will go to the RAM first and from the RAM it will be stored to disk as well as to replication queue. From the replication queue data will be replicated to any another node or to any another data center. In the same fashion, when client will fire a read request, data will be served to the client from RAM itself. That's why Couchbase is so fast. This is how a storage operation happens in Couchbase. We are having a community addition and enterprise addition of Couchbase. The community, community addition is totally free and the enterprise addition is free till two nodes. And if you want to explore your cluster beyond that, you need a license. We can administrate our Couchbase cluster web using web UI, using command line interface or using RESTful API. We are having Couchbase available for Windows, Linux as well as Mac. Thank you.